at here, look at here. A new fish has come and has arrived. I think this is gonna be my most favorite fish. And we're gonna do an unboxing today of this favorite fish. Now make sure you always open your box. Make sure it's nice and slow. You don't wanna tear the bag that's inside, of course. So I'm using a nice razor blade. I'm going nice and slow over the box. Make sure I don't puncture the box itself. So I'm gonna cut this one open. Box is warm. Let's see how it's packed. Oh, that flap is packed good. Ooh, get it close. He's in here. He's in here. He's in here. Okay, now I know what this is. I know what's in the box itself. But I'm gonna show you guys. Pack well. See, heating pad, insulation, keep the fish nice and warm by travels. Uh, most papillae people don't know when it travels from a different climate. That sometimes fish can react a certain way, and here it comes. Oh yeah. Oh my God. My favorite fish. My favorite fish. Ooh, a nice feisty Arapaima. One of the all-time favorite monsters. So this is a monster fish that's gonna go inside the tank. But first, as always, we get a new fish, you take it, because water can be cold, can be warm. You open your tank itself, put the fish inside, let it sit for 20 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer. I make sure I let it sit for 20 minutes, let it acclimate to the temperature of the water itself. Hit my timer, and we're gonna stay tuned. Come timer back. is up, and we are ready to acclimate our fish. So it's been sitting in the water about 20 minutes now. Um, it's looking really, really healthy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out the water. Down below here is a box where I'm gonna acclimate the fish itself. But first, what I need to do is I gotta dump the water out in something. So you grab that. I have that, that ready. You should always have it ready. I'm gonna get an old bucket so I can dump some water in there. And let's let's get them out. Let's get them out and see. See what's going on. Wow, it's looking really, really, really pretty. I'm gonna set them in there while I get my razor blade. Make sure I only let a little bit out so I don't puncture the bag itself. Well, I wanna puncture the bag, but don't hurt the fish itself. So I'm gonna cut the bag open. Perfect, it's double bag, so that's a great, great, great thing. So I'm gonna make sure I get them cut out nice and good. Open the bag, and that's the start. Open as much as I can. Then out. Oh, jump right out the water. Very, 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 very good sign. Throw that in there. As you can see him a little closer, a little more clearer. Arapaima, monster fish. So I'm gonna do is I already got my valves here to test the pH. What usually what happens is that when the fish comes, the pH drops in the bag itself. Um, so typically I always like my fish to be shipped more than 24 hours or, or less if I can. So this is the water I've already had in here. Water's in here. I'm gonna do one, two, three drops. This is gonna be where I, where I test my pH. pH is looking really, really good. It's nice and blue color here. So that'll be my pH. That'll be where I can kind of measure where it's coming from. I'm gonna dip some water in here. Also test the pH in here and make sure it's balanced. It's been less than 24 hours, so it should be right on the mark. So let's dump a little water in here. Perfect, same thing. One, two, three. Awesome. So the one on my left is a stagnant, and this is the pH from here. So I can kind of start watching. They're almost the same, so that's actually a good sign. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dump some water out here without dumping the fish. So enough where it's above his body. Dump some water out, dump some water out. Just a little bit, perfect. Now, I showed you guys before, take your tube, I'm gonna siphon some water out into the water itself, so. There we go, now it's really, really fast. What I'm gonna do is kind of tighten it off. So it's just a little trickle. Just like that, just a little trickle. So getting used to the water and the pH. And we're gonna stay tuned for another video. It's gonna be about 20 minutes of this. Dumps the water out, dumps the water in. And we'll come back and whack, put him into 
his permanent home. All right, guys, the time is up. He's ready to go inside the tank. He's been activating. He seems very calm, cool, collective. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the net over here. Give me one second. I'm not gonna pull the water back in there. Um, I'm gonna put it in right by itself and let's see what happens. I'm gonna grab the net and I'm gonna grab him from the side of the tank. And then we're going to take a look at our, our new monster fish, new. He doesn't look like a monster now, but trust me, in time he will be a monster. So I'm gonna take the net, try not to stress him out too much. Pick him up. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I mean, just downright beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. I'm going to kind of put them in here nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. Beautiful. He is in the tank. Yeah, buddy. So, acclimation process is officially over. And I'm going to take everything apart. Usually, the first 24 hours of any new fish are very critical. So, I'm going to watch his behavior, see how he goes. Obviously, he's going for air, so that's a good sign because he's an air breather as well. So, he's just hanging out in the tank with his new tank mate. Flagtail, and I don't know what I'm calling the ship. I'll let you guys know. So, that's how you acclimate a fish, and he's in the tank. So, thanks for listening, and stay tuned for more mental health and more fishy Saturdays.